Bevel is another very commonly used tool along the extrude. So what Bevel does, again, if you just hover over it, it will tell you to exp that it expands the selected polygon components into new faces. Uh, if this is a bit difficult to understand, maybe easier would be. So let's say that this cube, uh, we want to render this cube, but for some reason, our lights are bouncing only from the surface and we have no highlights coming from the edges. So basically what's happening is that the edge right here doesn't have enough geometry to bounce that highlight off. It only has one face connected to another and it has only one, this little edge in the middle. So in order to fix that, what we would do is we would select all of the edges and then we would use bevel. And by default, we would get this as a result. So what we need to do is we need to play with a fraction and fraction will just give us the opportunity to measure the distance between those two faces and how much of a highlight we want to have in between. So segments will just give us that, that geometry that we need. So when we check our object, it's going to have a bit more realistic representation of what, how cube should look like when it's being rendered. So now, as you can notice, we have a bit more surface here that can now cast, um, that you can just receive highlights or reflections and just have a bit more realistic render. So what I'm going to do is just come a few steps back and take a look into another, into a few other options. So basically, yeah, segments will just give you option to populate uh, the fraction with the segments. Depth will give you option to choose either you want to go to inverted look or the outer look and if you set it to zero then it's going to be fully flat. And now metering and meter along that's something that we're going to actually see in a more practical examples than just the cube. And basically chamfer what it will do. So for example this now we have 12 uh, segments here and if we hit three number on a keyboard we can see how this cube will look subdivided. Basically with the smooth preview on, it's gonna look exactly the same, more or less as with the number of segments. But if we turn the chamfer off and bring the segments way down and now hit three again to check how subdivide looks, it's gonna look exactly the same, except now we'll have less segments and we will lose that curvature from the segments when the chamfer is on. So again, this is something that to, to understand it a bit better, we're gonna see a bit more practical examples in our projects as we work and then we're gonna introduce uh, these tools as well. Some of the situations where we might use beveling is for example, again, now if we would like to have these edges a bit more uh, sharper, we have this uh, object and if we hit three this is going to be our smooth preview so we can see the difference between the two so basically what beveling will do is make these transitions a bit sharper if we want to so what we would do is just I will just double click on this one edge uh, hold shift double click on this edge to select both then I will hit bevel and then again you can either play with the segments and add more geometry within less space to get this look or simply you can use chamfer and use one segment so when we hit three that then we have again a situation where we can play and see what kind of spacing we would like to have here to have this nice little sharp transition between these two panels uh, beveling we can also use for example if i select this edge till here and this and this edge and now i can go here and use bevel fraction. We can also put segments in if we want to. And then I can select, let's say, uh, this area right here and then double click here and maybe push it inside like so. And if we check number three, how it looks subdivided, this is going to be a result. So this is something that we're going to use, let's say, if we do paneling effects. And a bevel, again, we're going to use here. I'm again just going to double click on this, select bevel this time with chamfer on so that we get that nice smooth result. And I'm going to hit three and go to object mode. And this is again the result of our beveling.
So more or less, this is it regarding the bevel tool. And we're going to again talk about it a bit more as we go through practical examples. So uh, let's close this topic and let's move on to our next tool.